thanks for staying with us. Now in Oyo State, Governor Shane Mackenday says his administration has been able to reach all the senatorial zones in terms of development. He made this known while speaking at his stakeholders' consultative meeting on year 2022 budget in Ibadan. Olaide Oyewoli reports. The stakeholders' consultative meeting was attended by representatives and leaders of various local governments and institutions in the state. It was an avenue for the key players to present their needs and grievances to the government of the state. The governor revealed that over 500 educational and infrastructural projects have so far been completed. So last year, after this kind of session, we again prioritized education and infrastructure. These two sectors have always been the two areas that you, the good people of your state, have shown to be of paramount importance to you. The result is that we are able to complete over 500 education and infrastructure projects in the last year. On the construction of the Oyo Ishenyi Road, the governor said the road would be done by the Federal Ministry of Works. I am happy to report that the uh, minister was uh, gracious to have given his verbal go-ahead and he said, come with the document and we will sign it for you. So, so hopefully we'll get the uh, written approval within this coming week. The stakeholders commended the governor for his efforts in ensuring inclusive governance. What you are trying to bring to us is the bottom-up approach. We also have our own programs that is the top-down. But we need to make governance to be inclusive because the citizens are actually the government. Oyo State appreciates you. We are happy for all these conferences. It has, been, it has brought a, an inclusive governance, and we really appreciate it. Governor Shei Makinde also reiterated his commitment towards strengthening the state's security architecture. Olaide Oyewale, TVC News, Ibadan.